why doesn't the narcissist want to see you with someone else, even though the relationship has ended, and you have completely separated? You haven't seen them anywhere, and the narcissist hasn't had any chance to reach out to you. Yet, they don't want you to be with anyone else or be involved with someone else. This happens when the narcissist is no longer able or incapable of having you again. And this is for one reason, and that will be the topic of our discussion. Peace be upon you and God's mercy and blessings. Welcome to a new episode and a new video about narcissism. If you are interested in our topics about narcissism, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and activate the notification bell so that you receive all our upcoming episodes. When it comes to narcissists, the entire topic is about a person with a disorder, especially a disorder in attachment. This gives them the right to completely possess you. Because the narcissist cannot form a normal attachment, they also cannot separate from you naturally or healthily, like normal relationships with natural bonds and separations. The specific disorder that narcissists have is that they don't want you to be with anyone else because they believe in their self-righteousness that you belong to them. In their view, all your belongingness to them is because you are their private property that cannot be relinquished even after the relationship is cut off and separated. To the narcissist, you are just something they obtained, like any inanimate object that fulfills specific desires. They benefit from your presence in a certain way, and even when they no longer need you or the thing they have, they completely discard it until they feel the need for it again and reuse it. You are exactly that to the narcissist, a tool to fulfill their desires and hobbies. In the narcissist's mind, you belong to them, and all your qualities or possessions that they need from you are also their personal property. This means that, for the narcissist, you and everything you own are personally under their control, allowing them to manipulate you as they please, whenever they want. If you love a narcissistic person or have a relationship with them, whether it's a romantic, familial, or professional relationship, the narcissist, due to their narcissistic personality disorder, believes that merely having emotions or feelings toward them obliges you to maintain those emotions throughout the entire relationship. In other words, what you felt towards them at the beginning of the relationship is expected to persist continuously. You are supposed to continue providing the narcissist with all the emotions they anticipate from you, even though they may not see or understand that you have feelings, desires, and freedom of choice in arranging your life to suit your personal needs and desires. It is your right to continue your life after separating from them and to live again by your own choice, not by their accustomed control over your life. The narcissist cannot comprehend or believe that it is your right as a human being to choose and organize your life according to your personal and emotional needs. This is a natural aspect of life, where you do not stand still at a particular point, and life does not end with a failed relationship, poor choices, or a person who failed to appreciate you and your feelings. The narcissist cannot distinguish between what he believes and imagines within his sick mind and the actual reality. Inside the narcissist's mind, his behavior is considered normal, and what he believes in is natural. He perceives himself as acting correctly, and what is in his mind and believed by him is the norm, while people are unable to understand it. The narcissist constantly imagines that the separation from a relationship is not a real separation as we perceive it. Instead, he considers it a phase that will pass, and he will return to regain control over you whenever he wishes. For the narcissist, this is not a desire for you or the relationship between you, but rather a means to fulfill specific needs in the narcissist's mind, the need to regain attention, admiration, and approval that you use to give him. For the narcissist, having control over you and reclaiming you is a fundamental right. Retrieving you is considered natural and essential due to the narcissist's perceived power and dominance over themselves. This is the issue, and it stems from the attachment disorder we are discussing. Because of this disorder, the narcissist cannot comprehend your desire to continue your life, start anew without them, and break free from their control. This is a basic human right for anyone to choose to live in a way that brings them comfort and suits their needs, and to refuse to return to a relationship that harmed their dignity and feelings. Even after separating from the narcissist for an extended period, during which you cut off all contact with them, suddenly, without any warning, 
you may find attempts from the narcissist to reconnect with you and reinstate the relationship. The problem is that the narcissist cannot allow you to live your life again because, in their mind, they own and control you, even though they are not with you and have no real connection to you. Another issue with the narcissist is that they do not want anyone else to replace them in control and dominance. The narcissist measures any relationship in terms of control and dominance. Even if the narcissist has convinced themselves of the separation or acknowledges your right to distance yourself, they cannot accept the idea of someone else having control over you. In the narcissist's perspective, any person is an instrument for them to control and dominate, and the narcissist never views the situation from a human or individual right standpoint. The narcissist believes that, no matter how far you are from them, or how long the duration, if they decide they want you back, they can easily come and take you again, treating you as a possession just like any other inanimate object they own. The narcissist never considers their actions abnormal or wrong, and they never acknowledge that their behavior may cause harm to another person. They never recognize your right to feel pain or sorrow. The narcissist faces significant challenges in personal relationships because they cannot accept continuing their life without their victim, whom they see as a source of sustenance and supply. The narcissist can continue their life, yes, with a new source and a new victim. However, they cannot accept the idea that their source of supply could slip away from their grasp. This means they are eager to obtain supply from as many sources or victims as possible. That's why the narcissist moves from one relationship to another, sometimes simultaneously, in a very normal manner according to their perspective, and they never feel that what they are doing is strange or wrong. Moreover, when the narcissist behaves in this way, they are completely convinced that they have no psychological issues that would prevent them from acting this way. Instead, it is a lifestyle and a methodology they follow. The narcissist never bothers to question themselves or inquire about the reasons that lead them to behave this way because they lack any kind of empathy towards those affected by their behavior. They don't recognize that their actions give you the right to feel pain or discomfort due to their mistreatment. The narcissist feels and believes that it is their right to control you, your life, and your emotions during the relationship and even after the separation. They never acknowledge your right to live in a way that suits you, and they never recognize that you are responsible for meeting their needs and desires. When they sense that you are not conforming to their accustomed behavior, they consider it a rejection and a refusal to participate in the attachment disorder they suffer from. The problem with narcissists, as I mentioned, is that they cannot understand the feelings and emotions of others correctly. Their needs are considered a natural and involuntary thing without any conscious will on their part. When they feel that you are not continuously meeting what they are used to from you, they perceive it as a rejection and a refusal to participate in the attachment disorder they are suffering from. The narcissist, in their actions, constantly needs to feel the importance and value attributed to them. Due to their childhood experiences, they are unable to grasp the sense of importance in a natural or healthy way. All of this comes from the inflated ego in a pathological way with the narcissist. By the way, the narcissist understands that you know all of this about them because since childhood, they were sometimes required to obey those older than them or to serve them in a certain way, such as parents or older siblings. The narcissist believes that everyone has gone through what they have experienced in their childhood. Therefore, when they grow up, they think that anyone else must treat them the same way, being subservient to their needs, even if those requests are unreasonable. That's why, at the beginning of your relationship with a narcissist, their main concern is for you to fall in love with them as quickly as possible. This is because they want you to fulfill your required role from their perspective without getting bored. The narcissist requires an incredibly high level of attention from you, exaggerated care, constant admiration, and praise. They need to feel your continuous attention to validate their self-worth in the eyes of those around them. When a separation occurs between you and the narcissist, they cannot bear the deficiency or the deprivation of everything you provided them throughout the relationship. Even if they have other sources providing the same supply, it is essential for the narcissist to retain complete control over all the sources that provide them with narcissistic supply. It is the right of anyone to be connected with someone they feel comfortable and safe with, 
and at the same time, it is entirely natural for them to choose separation when they feel that the relationship or connection causes them pain or suffering. It is also their right to take their time and recover from the harm or pain they experienced in that relationship and to continue their life in a way that suits them and their feelings. However, the narcissist does not recognize any of this. On the contrary, they believe that it is a personal attack on them. This belief makes them feel rejected, and rejection mercilessly destroys the narcissist. This illustrates how desperate the narcissist is to ensure that no one else takes their place in your life. The narcissist is eager to make you believe that there is no escape or opportunity for you to change or continue your life without their abuses or pain. This narrative, according to the narcissist, is strictly prohibited. However, in reality, you must know that it is your absolute right, and the person depicted in this image has an evident emotional disturbance. I understand that the narcissist lingers in your mind and heart for long periods due to the time spent with them under their control and influence. But now you have undoubtedly freed yourself from that influence. You are simply choosing your life, and the way you live is entirely your right, which is not up for debate. Throughout your relationship with the narcissist, you lived in fear of making a mistake or any behavior that would disturb the narcissist from their perspective. Despite being extremely careful about their feelings due to your love and attachment to them, you were always required to fulfill their needs whenever they demanded it. To the narcissist, you don't have any personal life, you exist solely to serve them and fulfill their desires. This is how the narcissist perceives you because they lack the ability to communicate with others naturally. You must also be aware that regardless of the nature of your relationship with a narcissistic person or its characteristics, it is entirely a superficial relationship based on exploitation from their side without any consideration for your feelings or personal emotions. What makes the relationship with a narcissist superficial is the absence of genuine emotional attachment. The only true attachment in the relationship is your attachment to them and your genuine love, which they have not preserved. They consider it an acquired right that does not impose any commitment on their part or anyone else's. Moreover, the narcissist behaves this way, as mentioned earlier, because they lack the ability to communicate with others naturally or to form a genuine relationship that involves mutual exchange and concern for the feelings of the other party. This foundation of natural communication and mutual care should be the basis of any relationship, regardless of its label. However, the narcissist's relationships are extremely selfish and exploitative. The narcissist doesn't change their way of life, no matter how many relationships they enter or people they associate with. They will never alter the way they live, regardless of the extent of harm they cause or the pain they inflict through their abusive behavior. Compassion and empathy towards others enable individuals to form connections, friendships, and relationships. These relationships are built on emotional attachment and mutual appreciation, concepts that the narcissist is oblivious to and will never accept, regardless of any efforts made. The narcissist harbors nothing but an intense sense of anger, and this anger is directed at the entire world around them because it does not conform to their desires. This unwillingness to adapt keeps the narcissist living their life in the same manner, with their relationships consisting of repetitive cycles of one toxic pattern after another. They perceive themselves as successful in their chosen lifestyle, making it impossible for them to acknowledge any need for change or improvement. Therefore, do not think that your love and significant empathy for the narcissist will benefit them. On the contrary, you inadvertently assist them in perpetuating their abusive and harmful behavior. The narcissist does not want you to progress or continue with your life, which is why you may notice that they have numerous victims. Those who have separated from the narcissist have done so by completely cutting off the relationship, communication, or interaction, except when absolutely necessary. These individuals remained with the narcissist in the hope that they would change or improve, but eventually realized it was futile. Keep in mind and be certain of one crucial aspect, the narcissistic person does not change and will not change under any circumstances. Try to save yourself from continuous exhaustion in a relationship that inevitably ends in failure, no matter how prolonged. I hope you found this episode insightful, and I look forward to meeting you in the next episode with a new topic about narcissism. Thank you, 
and peace be upon you.